In this section, we're going to be looking at rearranging. OK, so in each of these four cases, I've been given a letter to make the subject. OK, so for A, we want to make Y the subject of this equation. Um, so, or this formula, rather. So, 3x minus 6y plus 5 equals 0. So, to get y by itself, the first step that I would suggest is to add 6y to both sides. So, I would have 3x plus 5 is equal to 6y. And then, you're one step away, because you can then divide everything by 6, and then you're left with y. OK? So that is how you would do the first one. OK? So for b, 3 over z plus 1 is equal to x. And we want to make z the subject. So we want z equals. So the first step that I would suggest is to multiply both sides by the z plus 1. So that brings it over to the right-hand side. So we'd have 3 is equal to x lots of z plus 1. That multiplying by both sides by z plus 1. Then I need to divide by that x. It's like you're using bid mass, but backwards. So instead of dealing with the uh, subtraction here, well, the addition in the bracket, but subtracting, I would divide instead. So divide both sides by x. And then I'm one step away, because now I can just take one from both sides, and I'm left with z. So z equals 3 over x minus 1. Now for c, we have 5x squared times y plus 1 is equal to 1 over z, and we want x. So 5x squared y plus 1 is equal to 1 over z. So, first of all, I would probably divide through by the 5. OK? So I'd be left with x squared, y plus 1, is equal to 1 over 5z. So dividing by both sides by the 5 is the same as bringing it into the denominator of that fraction there. I would then divide both sides by y plus 1. So the y plus 1 now also appears in the denominator. OK? And then, in order to get x equals, I need to square root both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 1 over 5z, y plus 1. But we're not quite done, because when you square root like this, it brings about a plus minus. OK, because it could potentially have been positive or negative. So if this number was 9, for example, then x could be either 3 or minus 3. So that is why you have both the positive and the negative options there. So that's how we would do C. Now, for D, we have 10 over m over 3, take away 2. Take away 2 is equal to 8b. And we want m to be the subject of this formula. So the first thing I would do is I would add 2 to both sides. OK? So I would have 10 over m over 3, take away 2, is equal to 8b plus 2. I would then multiply both sides by the m over 3 take away 2, OK? It's a very similar step as we did up here, where I multiplied both sides by z plus 1. So I would get 10 is equal to 8b plus 2. Notice how I'm putting 8b plus 2 in a bracket, because I've got to multiply the whole thing by that m over 3 take away 2. I can now divide both sides by the 8b plus 2. So 10 over 8b plus 2 is equal to m over 3 take away 2. Now at this stage, 
you might be thinking, well, can I simplify that fraction? Well, yes, you can, okay? So I could divide top and bottom by 2, and I get 5 is equal to 4b plus 1. So that simplifies that fraction. So I'm going to move over here. Now, to get m by itself, I'm going to have to get rid of that minus 2. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Okay. And then I'm one step away, because now that I've got m over 3 is this, I can multiply both sides by 3 to get m. So multiplying both sides by 3, we get 3 lots of 5 over 4b plus 1 plus 2 is equal to m. Okay. Now, you can... Uh, multiply this through if you like. You could write this as 3 lots of 5, so 15 over 4b plus 1. Now notice how I only multiply the numerator here. And then you've got 3 times 2 is 6. So you could write m as 15 over 4b plus 1 plus 6, like that. Or you could just leave the answer like this. So d was longer, but it's all about reverse engineering and figuring out exactly what process you need to do to get the letter by itself.